What could be done to prevent mass shootings? Sorts by controversial. What do other countries that don't have them do? Domestic violence laws that actually do something. 60 of mass shooters have passed DV issues. But if you look at the DV numbers in COPS, then you'll start to really see the problem. And healthcare for everyone. Make getting shot illegal. Make therapy more easily accessible for people who are middle or lower class. And actually take mental health and bullying seriously, instead of falsely advocating for it and brushing it off when people need serious mental help. Take mental health care and bullying seriously. Give everyone small, personal nukes. How do you stop a bad guy with a gun? Nukes. Put LSD in the drinking water. Better social safety nets, mental health help. Deal with the mental health issues and treat all people as valued parts of society and support them when they need it. Get rid of mass. People need to have real honest conversations with their loved ones and friends when the red flags go flying. Many of these shootings are not random and the warning signs were present. Help that woman escape her abuser, tell your brother to grow the fuck up and stop being abusive, take your son's firearms when you know they are an abusive alcoholic, etc. Most of these people don't live in isolation and people turn a blind eye because they feel it's not their problem or place to insert themselves, be brave and speak up. It could save someone's life. Be nicer to everyone. Shut down the news stations and pundits which are drumming up mentally ill people into thinking they're in a fight for your life scenario, which justifies mass murder to them. Wiping out all of humanity. Can't shoot if we all dead. Orgies. Stop allowing everyone to buy guns. I can already sense the filth that this comment section will be like. Can't wait. Access to healthcare would do wonders. Also having a better American culture. One that unites everybody as opposed to this two-party culture war we're in. Many comments identify a single issue, which would be missing the forest for the trees. Easy access to guns, poor social safety net, glorification of gun violence, extreme wealth gap, institutional racial discrimination and deep political division all contribute to the death toll. Seeing how America is the only country that experiences this on a regular basis the solution is pretty damned obvious. Stop giving it media coverage. Apart from the obvious? Better parenting. This isn't to all mass shooter, but a majority of them are young males. I believe older males me included need to be better role models to the young males, right now older males are in a state of mind that if I made it up this hill on my own blood, sweat and tears all the rest of you can go fuck off. I'm not a physiologist or even read a book about it. But I think older males need to do a better job joining together with other males to say it's okay to be different, that you're still part of the club. As a teacher, it starts with kids needing love and care at home, which leads to people having their basic Maslow needs met so they aren't constantly struggling. And mental health needs to become a priority instead of something we mostly ignore in the US. Kids and adults seek power and a sense of control through a gun because it's missing in the rest of their life. Well, considering Utah has never had one and they allow anyone with a concealed carry permit to carry on any public school campus, I'd say that. Thankfully, I have permission from my local school board to carry on their campus, but it's unfortunate that I had to ask in the first place. When it comes to teens going on a shooting spree, I expect the parents to be held liable. As a gun owner and parent, your firearms should be locked up and ammunition should be as well, but not near the firearms. The biggest problem? Access to guns. I've been to gun-toting homes and I could walk in and see at least two guns out in the open and most likely loaded. As someone who was in the military as well, it makes me sick. Parents should be held responsible for children's shooting sprees, not sure about adults, but maybe some legislation might help. Paying attention and actually doing something when there's a threat. Just look at the shooting by the six-year-old a few weeks ago. His teacher, the victim, 
has retained a lawyer because there were multiple times that day where the kid was reported to have a gun and administration just kept blowing it off. There were half a dozen times just that day that the incident could have been prevented, not to mention all the red flags on previous days. I'd say weapons training. If we treated it like having a driver's license and everyone in the country was required to have it a lot less mass shootings would take place. Strap yourselves in for this one, but. Reserve guns for military use it's not that hard. Given this really only happens in one country, you can look at what nearly any other country where this isn't a problem does, and emulate them and their gun policies. It's shocking to me how many people here don't understand that the Second Amendment is an inalienable right it wasn't given by the government, so it can't be taken away by the government so all the people saying just ban guns please just stop consuming space in this thread lol. Improve the quality of mental health services. We have psychiatrists who think it's their job to put all of their patients on the pill carousel and see what works. Well since majority of them happen in private residences by people who aren't allied to own guns, to begin with who majority have had warning signs and domestic violence problems tackle those issues first. Social safety net. Universal health care. Livable wages. Eliminate gun-free zones. Build better people, stop glorifying the ones that are broken. Shooting the shooter. Recognizing the warning signs and acting on them. So many of the shootings, a parent, friend or teacher could have acted sooner, they're usually aware something was going on. Access to mental health care. Addiction and family services. Refraining from mass political meltdowns that cause the desired chaos effect. Stop putting their faces everywhere, obsessing over whatever they used, and turning them into anti-heroes. Be ready to respond to or kill these people as soon as they start so they get nowhere. We could try implementing a government that's not corrupt. Start by enforcing the laws we already have. Vigorously, with maximum punishment. How many of the recent shootings are followed shortly by stories of how it could have been prevented if the authorities had actually acted? On information? Fix the fucking economic system. I could be so easy finally talk about the mental health condition of our society and increase psychological care. To stigma mental illnesses and finally help the people. In our country you would have to wait for a psych more than 6 MTHS. In this time you either try to fix it by yourself, get drug addicted, or do suicide.